Welcome back to The Bloated Chef. I am Chef Jerome, an actual bloated chef. And before we get to today's informative and entertaining tutorial, please be sure to slap down on that like button, click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and share with the entire planet. Please keep your hands inside the ride at all times, and we thank you. Oh man, from a gorgeous Georgia sunrise all the way up the coast to the spectacular New England coastline into the habas, especially this haba, Mablehead. Oh, the fishermen and the yachtsmen have pulled their boats out of the water and let me tell you, they are kicking themselves. They're kicking themselves in day on ass. Three full days of 70 degrees and sunny. Woohoo! And why not use that as a backdrop as we set the table? It is time for fall veggies. That's right. Those like pumpkin, delicata squash. We are going to puree this all together. Roast the meat, puree it, get it in a pan, get it cooked, get it flavored. Ladies and genitals, how about some pumpkin soup for this fall season? Loaded chef style. First things first, we set me wee big sister's oven to 400 degrees, preheated. We will now scoop out all the seeds and the flesh from inside the pumpkin and the squash. Get it all out of there, get all of that nasty flesh. That stuff's not really the good edible stuff. Okay, we're gonna rinse those, get those strained, pull all of the meat and all of the flesh off of these seeds. We're going to dry them and we're going to toast them because guess what? Who doesn't love toasted pumpkin seeds? Pretty simple stuff here. Once you get most of, if not all of that pumpkin flesh off the seeds, you lay them out on some paper towels, you press them down, you dry them. We'll cut open our delicata and do the same thing for that squash now. All right. Flesh scooped, seeds have been separated. A little bit of olive oil, a quick drizzle, and some beautiful local sea salt out of Salisbury Mass into the oven. 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now then, moving on our pumpkin seeds, nice and dry. Pull them off of those paper towels. They have a tendency to stick, which they have here. Just very lightly, very gently drag your fingers across, loosen them up. Get them all in the bowl, and then it's all real simple after that. Olive oil and your seasonings of choice. Let's work on our mise en place veggies. Minced carrots. That's right. Couple of sticks. Slice them thin. Slice them thin. Dice them. Mince them. Here goes some fresh sliced garlic. That's correct. That's what you want. About that much. Not too shabby. That's about four cloves sliced nice and thin here comes some beautiful fresh sage I don't know it might be the all-time fresh herb for fall and there is our mise en place all right our pumpkin slash gourds slash squash are out of the oven let us go about scooping the flesh while it's still warm trust me you can't hold it while it's hot but while it's still warm, peel all that good, delicious, yummy, sweet flesh out from the pumpkin. Do the same thing for the delicata squash. There we go. Nice and simple. Set that aside. And now we can start executing said pumpkin soup. That's a pretty color of orange, isn't it? All right. Into our actual soup pot. There goes some oil. There goes a little bit of garlic butter. Here comes some... Bacon lardons, French for sliced bacon bits, basically. We're going to hand chop those, cook them, render them until they're crisp. And right before we pull it, we are going to infuse them with some fresh sage. We're going to fry it up. We're going to save the oil. We're going to pull the bacon. Now then, there's that sage oil, very much infused. Then we go with our mise en place veggies and the garlic.
All right, over low and slow heat, we will start to sweat these vegetables out, get all the liquid out. Okay, in goes a little bit more of that local Salisbury sea salt. Our veggies are cooked, the onions and carrots are tender, the garlic. Time for the deglaze. I think it was about a cup of white wine. We will whip that through, let that wine and the alcohol cook out, let the flavor remain, and we will build off that next level of flavor. Which of course means vegetable stock. That's right, vegetarians. Praise on high to you, huh? The fat guy's doing another vegetarian friendly dish. We're gonna keep simmering that squash and stock mixture until we get a nice smooth consistency. You'll be able to feel it, you'll be able to see it, trust me. Now then, we're gonna oil our seeds. In goes some paprika, some of that sea salt, and just a pinch of cinnamon. That's right, all mixed together into the oven at 300 degrees until they're golden brown. You'll know it and you'll be able to smell it. Now then, the simmer continues. Let's give that a quick stir. See what our consistency feels like. It's still a little on the thick side. For me, we're gonna let that go a little more, add a little more vegetable stock, probably another 15 minutes or so. That feels pretty good. And in we go with our cream. There goes about a half a cup of heavy cream go very light you can use half and half even if you want you could use milk it's time to lay these seeds down on the sheet pan spread them out into the oven for about 25 minutes at 300 degrees we will check we will turn we will toss now then you have to use the technology at hand sometimes it's modern and sometimes it's ancient as evidenced by me wee big sisters hand cranker <laughs> boy it did the job though use what you got folks no excuses well boy I tell you what that soup sure looks good sounds good too everything seems to be just right let's plate this sucker up let's get a little taste a vu oh it's pretty it's so pretty let's go ahead and garnish this thing shall we there goes a few organic radish sprouts. Happen to have them. Not. There goes those bacon bits. There goes those pumpkin seeds. And just a little touch of fresh sage. As these two wait and lick their chops, went ahead and set up some to-go's. Took it around to the local pubs so people could sample. And this is what they sampled. That's a good looking urn soup, don't you think? Let's see what fat guy thinks. Oh, he's not going to dance again. Oh, is he flex? He's flex? Oh my god. The Mr. Olympia pose? Really? The lat spread? The shoulder shrug? Holy cow. What a weekend. 73 degrees. Hanging out with these two. Disconnected. Oscar. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, pretty girl. Talk about bliss. Look at this. 73 degrees. Oh, I can think of worse places to be.